Hello everyone and welcome back to Safari Wildlife Park episode number 9 or if you are new hello and welcome uh yeah in this like uh as you can see in the last episode we built this really really beautiful um like platypus habitat and you guys really really loved it um if i'm looking at the, the analytics right now um it hit 400 views uh so that's really crazy that's the most views i've ever gotten on a video so thank you all so much for that i guess you really like that build and habitat um yeah let's go inside and look for the platypus i can see a little one sleeping over here oh he's so cute oh my god i just love the platypus they're probably another one of my favorite animals <laughs> they're so cute okay but i wanted to say that in this episode i'm gonna pause because it is a bit laggy in this episode i am gonna make offline i mean not offline i'm gonna make uh like a little what's it called a little uh custom education board uh, and i will add it like i think right here or right here for the platypus like i did in the last episode in the black bear habitat if you haven't watched that i definitely recommend you to go and watch that um but yeah so in that episode i built like a custom uh like education board education sign that i made which i really like so i'll definitely make one for this habitat so by the end by the like after the speed build at the end you will definitely be able to see it i will show you guys but overall, I just really love how this zoo is turning out. Sorry for the lag. Um, there are just so many guests in the zoo. I think what I'm going to do is after I finish filming this intro, I'm going to like go ahead and just like, I don't know. I'll just let the game play for I don't know how long. I don't know, a, a long time. And in that time like i'll just earn a lot of money and then i'll close the zoo until i need more money so that way there won't be any guests uh yeah but there is very exciting news we've got baby cassowaries look at them i i guess it was when i was building in the last episode that they were born but they're so cute look at them so i guess mo and cassie are not fighting anymore uh, because when we put them in they were I don't know I don't know what it's called <laughs> I forgot what it's called they were like fighting and they were not happy with one another but I guess now that they they mated and they have these two babies so again if you have any name suggestions for these little two cuties please do leave them in the comments down below and I will make sure to name these two and you can hear them making noise um yeah but i don't know what else to do let's go ahead and check a bit let's pause the game so that it isn't so laggy uh the saltwater crocodiles still haven't matured and he's hungry so let's call a keeper urgently and let's actually also hungry so i think what i can do is i can go in here animals Habitats, Habitat 25, that's the platypus, platypus habitat, African crested porcupine, no, 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 no. saltwater crocodile, let's do food, oh I should have pressed food in the beginning, saltwater crocodile, food, grade 3, we should make sure everything is grade as high as possible, uh, no, so we should make sure that we're researching. Yeah, it looks like we are researching the platypus, so active disease. Oh no, that's not good, but it's already gold star, so hopefully that the vets can get over that quickly. Let's make sure that we have enough vets. Uh, yeah, I think that should be enough. Uh, let's also go and see what else we need to do. So let's go and see the crested porcupines. I think I'm going to start releasing some to the wild because 
I don't think that their space is great. Yeah, it isn't great. But also the platypuses don't have a lot of space to walk around. So that should, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, let's check. Let's just check what the guests think. Uh, Gulpy Soda one looks busy. I'll try somewhere else. Yeah, that's a good idea. We have uh, quite a lot of shops, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. It'll take too long to get served at the vending machines. So that's something that I think I'm gonna put vending machines in that little house over there. Uh, but I'm not sure yet. Wow, I really like how it's turning, how it's like getting along this entrance area. You walk and like you see the Dharma Gazelles and the Addixes in here and then you carry on walking. And you see the little tortoises and turtles, not turtles, tortoises in here. And then the red crowned crane. And after I'm finished with that house, I'm also going to build something nice here. I don't know yet, but it's coming along really nicely. And that's really all that matters. But I don't really have anything else to do. Let's check uh, things we need to claim nothing in here so why did it say three community maybe no so i don't know minus 250 because it spotted a why is that oh it's probably because they don't have enough space in the red crown crane i don't know why the red crown crane habitat is so low that we should actually check uh well i you don't understand how much i love this habitat Social space, yeah, that's the problem, space. So, I, I really don't know what to do. Why is this floating? Great. Um, yeah, but look at them. They're so cute, these tiny babies. Wow, they really are super cute. Again, if you have any name suggestions for any of the cranes, I definitely will make sure to name them and yeah and everything like that so i think that's really the end of like the end of the things that i still have to do right now i think i'm gonna jump straight into the time lapse of me carrying on to build and to make this like building look good so yeah let's jump straight into that hello everyone so this is future time lapse me um, yeah, this episode was a pretty nice one. Uh, I won't say it wasn't too hard to build. It really wasn't. It was it was actually quite nice uh, because in the last episode, I really did most of the work. I built the house from scratch and I was like, I did most of the work really. So this episode was really like a relaxing and a calm one. It took me only around two hours to build the whole like the whole build which is actually <laughs> i think that's a record uh, i'm not sure but i think i'm pretty sure it's a record for me at least uh to make such a complicated habitat uh in such a short time so i'm really proud of myself for doing that um yeah but other than that um i don't know it was really nice it was really relaxing and really calm um yeah but i want to talk a bit about um like the future plans you guys you guys probably know the future plans for this zoo and for this australian section but um i feel like the plans are changing a bit not not for the not for the build and stuff but um i also said this last week so this probably i don't i really don't know what what what's gonna happen at the end especially with the whole situation in the country right now so i really don't know what's gonna happen um but we're probably like tomorrow is my first day of school of school after like i don't know how long it was like probably it was it was probably like a month without school now so uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty hard and pretty, like, just hard to go back to school and to go back to everything, especially with me trying to upload two episodes a week. So, uh, I don't know how realistic that really is once I go back to school and I, and I train 30 hours a week. 
Um, so yeah, I, I just really don't know how realistic that is. So I wanted to say that like, uh, yeah, <laughs> that uh, tomorrow is my first full day of school, like proper full day of school after a month that the war has been going on. So uh, yeah, as I said before, honestly, it was really fun at home, but under these circumstances, I mean, I, I'd prefer to be at school any day. Uh, it's not fun when there's a war outside. Um, but yeah, so I'm going back to school, so I really don't know how realistic it will be to post two episodes a week with me training 30 plus hours a week and going to school on top of all of that. So I really don't know how realistic it will be to post uh, two episodes a week, like I said. But I'll try to upload as many episodes as I can. Uh, I'll try to film whenever I can. I'll try to film. But I can't be promising anything, especially because now we're like we're probably going to go into a pretty stressful time with all of the like exams and stuff. So I, I really don't know what I can expect for myself. But uh, I, I do promise that I will do the best that I, <laughs> that I am capable to do and that I will try to upload as many episodes that, as I can. Um, so yeah, that doesn't really have anything to do with like the zoo or the build, but I feel like it's important to let you guys know. Um, yeah, so uh, <laughs> if I won't be posting twice a week, I definitely will be posting once and I will update you guys regularly on my Instagram so um, you guys should definitely go and follow me over there uh, yeah but oh my god that dog I'm telling you guys <laughs> that dog just really wants to be in the videos I'm telling you <laughs> uh, it's it's really funny to me that whenever I start <laughs> like recording only then he starts barking like until now when I was filming the video or editing he didn't bark he didn't he was quiet but now he started barking so uh, yeah <laughs> um let's not talk about that dog um yeah so uh let me talk a bit about what i'm doing right now so as you can see i already built like the the, the more or less the frame of the habitat and i put down the glass and i already put down all of the like the rocks for the background and now i'm putting down this mulch the reason why i'm doing that is because the the like the dirt in the in the biome that i'm in right now like the biome that this zoo is in it's the grasslands and um the the dirt that that is in the the grasslands um it's like it's really bright and so that I, I don't really like that because since this is a, a really Australian house or an Oceanian house, I feel like that the, the it has to be really muddy and the dirt has to be really rich. And yes, I do, I do get it that in the grassland, the dirt it is like, it, it is reasonable that, is, that it is like that. Um, but I feel like in, in Australia, the dirt is a lot. Uh, darker which I, I really don't know what I'm saying but I just feel like it adds a lot more like it makes it look really nice so <laughs> that's really the reason why I'm doing it uh, <laughs> what I said before is just a little cover-up story but um, that's the real reason um, about it uh, I wanted to talk to you about like a little bit of storytelling because I'm really not good at that stuff and I don't know if you guys would like me to, like, do a little bit of that. Like, to to make up a little bit of a story for, for the zoo. Like, because, you know, like, the, 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 the African porcupine, it does really make sense that it is in this African zoo. Because, of course, this zoo is, like, based in Africa. So that does make sense that that there's an African porcupine or let's say the Addixes or the Dharma gazelles or even the, the red crowned cranes because I have been in zoos in South Africa and there are red crowned cranes. I've seen it with my own eyes. But uh, like a something like a platypus or the or the little blue penguin, 
just isn't realistic to have in a zoo in Africa in like I don't know just I I don't know they like the platypuses as far as I know they are aren't many zoos in the world that actually keep them because they're such a hard species to handle and such a hard species to like keep alive and stuff and I don't know I really haven't done much research on it and I'm sure if I will do research on it then I'll get my answers um, but from what I know they aren't like at all zoos that have any platypuses as far as I know except for the San Diego Zoo or any zoos in Australia, which I really don't know about zoos in Australia. I haven't done my research about that. Uh, but it would like make sense that I would, that I can make up a little story and make a little billboard in Canva for like the story of how the platypus and the little penguins came to Africa, like, or something like that. I feel like that could be cool. Um, or maybe not in this zoo, maybe that's a, a that's an idea for another zoo that I just came up with. Uh, yeah, but I don't know, so just let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, yeah, but other than that, you can see that I'm just using lots of foliage and lots of plants, and I put lots of rocks, as you can see, and now I'm gonna start to just cover the rest of the little sand bay with rocks to make it look as naturalistic as possible even though these penguins are from what i know they live in mostly coastal areas and from what i know they don't live in like in swamps or lakes like the platypus i felt like i really wanted to put foliage in the background like the platypus because I was looking on Google in on not on Google on zoo chat for pictures for inspiration for this zoo and for not for the zoo for this habitat and I found out really nice habitats but they didn't have lots of foliage or if they did it was in small little like pots that may it, it looked a bit really realistic but not it wasn't at the amount of foliage that I add. Um, so, yeah, so, but I just really want, I just decided that I really wanted to look similar to the little platypus habitat. And I just wanted it to, I don't know, suit the theme of this little house. So even though it really, I don't think it's realistic to have so many plants, especially when this uh like species lives on beaches uh but yeah that's the end of the time lapse it passed really quickly i guess time flies when you enjoy yourself see you in real time okay everyone so i am back from the time lapse and yeah as you can see i am i finished this build uh yeah this build was actually it, it was it was a lot easier than the last one i have to admit like the platypus habitat was so hard you d you don't even understand how hard it was um but as you can see this area still isn't like completely i'll pause the game so that it isn't so laggy but i still haven't like furnished anything here and like made it look good yet don't worry i'm gonna put like these benches here in the middle and plants all over and i'm thinking of making like potters like this with pots and putting some australian plants like these little ponytail palms that look very australian and i as you can see right here let me just go there um, as you can see, I built the platypus. I made like the little billboards for the platypus. And as I said, it's very bright. So if you guys know how to fix that, that would be, I'd really appreciate it. But as you can see, this one, this billboard was actually supposed to be like horizontal, but I, I don't know how to make it horizontal for, so for now it's going to be like this. Um, until I finish until I manage to flip it over and make it horizontal but until then I really don't know what to do and as you can see there's this little like anatomy sketch of a little platypus and there is like this of the tail of the platypus and 
their like poison gland and yeah so it's pretty cool i made this all in canva if you guys would like a tutorial on how i made this i might do that at i don't know let's say 300 subscribers when i hit 300 subscribers let's say i don't know i don't know if i'll actually do that but if you guys would really want it i can do a like a little i don't know expl explanation of how i do this of how i do these i forgot what they're called um billboards uh it's actually the first time that i ever made billboards myself so i'm really new to this topic but I'm gonna put one billboard here, like horizontal, I think, of a of the little blue penguins. And I'm still thinking of putting here a map of Australia. And right here, I'm gonna make a map of Australia, a big map of Australia and Oceania, because this is the Oceania, like a house. So uh, it has to be like, has it has to have something to do with Oceania. As you can see, there are quite a lot of penguins. If we press on that and we check, we've got 12 penguins and six females and six males. And I still think that there are more penguins on their way that, yeah, as you can see, there's still one there. This is like how how they, oh, that isn't supposed to be like that. This is like how the, the keepers enter the enter the zoo and how they put in their i don't know there's like this floating piece of something which i i really don't know how to get rid of that uh but this is how the keepers bring the 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 animals and everything so it's connected here and then it's connected here the i can show you the path it it goes through here so i should actually make that path like a keeper path so that none of the like guests walk through there and I should probably also make it connect this as well and is this also connected let's the paths in this game are just like like just amazing i mean amazing in a bad way they just are so i don't know i just are so weird okay we'll go back to that hopefully i fixed it i i really don't know what i i did right now but um yeah as you can see i don't know oh this isn't supposed to be like this this is a blueprint from the workshop i'll link it in the description below so you guys can go and check it out uh yeah the game is a bit laggy i really don't know what to do i've got one million dollars so i think that i might just close the zoo after i reach around i don't know five million then i might just close the zoo for now why isn't this closing okay i don't know um uh, let me fix that one second okay sorry for that uh i don't know i really don't know what happened um, but I am still planning on like making a little habitat outside here or if not outside oh there shouldn't okay this shouldn't like be sticking out um, but if not outside here then I'm definitely gonna be carrying carrying on the Oceanian section um, by like I'm planning on making a little like deserty habitat that the guests can walk through for the i think for the emus and the red kangaroos but i'm not too sure about it um yeah but i think that's it for now sorry if like the game is all laggy and this is like there are still floating blocks everywhere i i i don't know what to do about the lag i really don't um i think i don't know so if you guys have any suggestions i would love it if you guys could comment them down in the description below but uh yeah that's it for today's episode if you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a like and if you're already down there i would like it if you could comment a nice comment and if you're already down there uh could you comment your favorite animal i want to see what your guys' favorite animals are um yeah, but other than that, thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye, guys.